Is Star Citizen an empty promise? Well, we're going to hear what Lawless Baron has to say about it. Hello, everyone. Hello, chickies. It's Baron. So, we've got a lot of stuff to cover today. So, if you've been a backer for a while, now I'm sort of digging into the deep stuff. This is my bird, Millie. But for a while now... Hold on. I am feeling like the audience is correct on this one. I am detecting somewhat salad vibes from this. Hold on a second. Warning. Incoming salad vibes. Just, just letting everyone know out there that's watching, we are detecting salad vibes from this. You may or may not feel what I'm talking about. Now, if you're new to Star Citizen, you won't really feel like this at all. And a lot of people won't, but... As a content creator for Star Citizen. It might seem rude, but uh, Evil is saying that this man should probably go bald and that it is his best option. I can say as a bald man that, that I am very happy being a bald man. Uh, not everybody can have a bald chrome dome that looks this great, this this luscious, uh, illustrious, and uh, full. It's a full bald head. Uh, bald head. And it's very sexy. And I think we just need to take a moment uh, and respect the baldness of my head. Uh, I don't have a parrot. Okay. I don't have a parrot. This man, he has a parrot and that parrot is pretty pimp. And I must admit, uh, I feel like now I need a parrot with the bald head. I feel like this is something that I always find amusing. I do have Pepe. And I'm beginning to find right, a Luigi, little bit more. But I can't put him on um, my shoulder. Regular. Can I do that, Pepe? I can. Now, huh. I say this I because it's something that <laughs> needs you, to be yes, said. Thank you. God, now, don't jump to an explanation like any sort of exuberant ideas. <laughs> like but the for lighting. all you greenies out there, this will help you understand the situation. Now, don't mind me. I'm reading notes from a book. And yeah. So if you're new to Star Citizen, you don't realize it yet, but you've just <laughs> entered the most frustrating, complicated relationship. And that's okay. Now, when you first enter a relationship, go for it, Pez. You're gonna, a picture for us. you know, you're gonna enter that honeymoon phase. It's just, you know, part of a relationship. Right. right. Now, this is where that. you're most happy. You're learning great things. You're learning, like, in a relationship, you're learning <laughs> about each other. You're having this fingers. great time, <laughs> um, and whatnot, right? So, if you've ever been in a relationship, you know the feeling. This you've, is why I can't. Like, this is why I wouldn't have a parrot on my shoulder. I would be way too paranoid that 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 bird is just going to come around the corner and take the hook of its bill straight into my eye. Like, you know, like I, I'm like, I would be talking, I'd be waxing philosophical and I'd say, Hey, here's, here's the stages of star city. And then the parrot would just be like, ha and like crack me in the eye. I'm like, ah, Oh, I can't continue. I can't keep talking about star citizen. My parrot's beak is stuck in my cornea. I can't, I couldn't do it. I'd be too scared of the parrot gouging my eye out. That's why so Pyrus like had an eye patch. Absolutely, and Gator. And what not? Nobody now, knows that. But us. as you move on, <laughs> you start to learn. You know, the community is fantastic. Um, Damn parrots! You, know, you have some awesome experiences. Yes. Now, let's just jump ahead about okay. a year or so, All right. right, into the future. Depending on like um, concepts. Somebody in the look at this DG section. Posted anything this, that really see. comes in to Star Citizen. And all, you know, all that good stuff. Now, if you're here to stay and you watch oh, a lot the of the biting I, his ISCs or in, it's biting you know, his SCLs, finger. Like oh my Inside God. Star Citizen. Or I can't pay attention to what he's saying. Like, I'm sorry, Lawless Baron. You know, I'm not trying to be insensitive. So far, we've said that you need to go full bald and that we're worried about your parrot. Now, we can see here that the parrot is literally biting his finger right now. No, thank you. I can't pay attention to what the man is saying because I'm too worried about the parrot fucking him up. <sighs> Star Citizen Live. You'll know some of them are full of content and it's just stuff that we really want and it's really great. And they give us the info that we want. And, you know, whether or not you like it, it's just that something that they do. Star citizens. Now, a lot of like, the... I, I feel like that needs to be like... The seals <laughs> the, the are birds, on birds. The birds... Be <laughs> the birds being blurred out by... I don't know if he's got a filter or what's happening here on his screen. But like, I feel like this should be the thumbnail right now. And it should be entitled Star Citizen's Scariest Parrot. <laughs> Sorry. There was one for a traffic cone. 
<laughs> and I'm not going to disagree that it's, it's not it's great content. Mad a lot of people find that screen, interesting, but I feel like that's just a little it's, bit. It's 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 eyeballing us all down through the screen right now, like. <laughs> <laughs> this parrot's he did he have to blur this parrot's face out because it was just giving us that mean stare it, of a filler of just rubbish, <laughs> right? Yeah. So look at this parrot. I also say this. It's a bit shiny there. I also say this because this parrot gives zero fucks. This parrot is very upset that this guy is paying attention to his fan base right now. This parrot's like, you need to feed me. You need to stop talking to these people. I don't understand what you're doing. I'm going to hook. I'm going to take my my hook claws and jam them in your eyeballs and scratch your head with my giant beak. I literally feel super intimidated by this parrot. This parrot takes up more screen space than this man. <laughs> this parrot is is overwhelming. I cannot focus on what this man is saying. Lately, <laughs> a lot of the content's been fantastic. And I can sort of feel why they're doing this. Now, yeah. for an SEL episode to be based on a traffic cone, that's good. But, you know, this you might is- be left feeling confused. You may have um, enjoyed <laughs> it. And that's fine. There are a limited amount of variables that this could bird come scares the shit out of me. It's like an ancient But it leaves a feeling of, of resentment sort. and okay, maybe color. very oh, frustration. God. Oh, God. It bit off his pick. Like, how can you just stand there and let the bird eat your fingers, man? Aren't you, wor- <laughs> Aren't you worried? Or very frustrated. Um, oh, my God. This now, parrot. the last thing you <laughs> should do is <laughs> post it on Spectrum, which is full of all sorts of characters. Oh, Let's man. just say that, right? Let's just say that. Just be careful of the know. spectrum we don't know, forums. Pet. Don't go jumping into anything. I cannot focus on his Going words. crazy with it. Now, moving on through oh. your journey, you may have heard of, or may not have heard of, of Salty Mike. Hi, Salty, if you're reacting to this. <laughs> and at first you may think, you know, he's a bit salty and he's a bit bitter. And you may think that, geez, what's his problem? You know, but give it time and you'll feel exactly the same. Or you'll feel on par with the way he feels. And if not, you will eventually. You might not ever, but I can guarantee you'll get to that point one day where you just think, what is CIG doing? Are they actually working on the game? <laughs> but let's get further into it. So, and sometimes you'll agree. Yes, they're working on the game. There's like a thousand people working for them. Not a small percentage of those uh, are the devs. And the other, the larger percentage are the janitors. Everybody knows that. <laughs> With what is being said. All I know is that 2020 I don't know what this dude. was a massive flop. The introduction of... I, okay, listen to me. There, There's refueling. There's been medical game tech. There's been, the, you know, like there's been a lot of things added to the gameplay in 2022. And just because morphologists said that nothing was happening in 2022 does not in fact mean that that is true. <laughs> you know, like you have an architect telling you that there's no nothing happening in game development. It's a little bit disconnected. No, like really, you know, now record revenue does not reflect the success of the development that has happened. The revenue and the ship sales are becoming more and more of focus. I want to make sure that there's no more concept ship sales. I want to make sure that they only sell ships that are completed you know, we know that they're going to reduce the amount of concept, uh, concept ships from one of the uh, Star Citizen Live we watched, uh, I think, about two or three weeks ago. Uh, and and so that's good. That's a move in the right direction, right? This is all part of game development, man. You know, like people that are like, oh, nothing happened in 2022 really don't know anything about game development. Like, really. You know, they're focused on what it is that they see that they're playing. They don't know what's happening behind the scenes. They have no idea. It's and that everybody then just falls in line and believes it is even more disgusting. Like, you know, like it's so crazy to me that like one guy who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers says it and then like a lot of other people just parrot like the parrot. <laughs> like the parrot that this man has in his hand. All the other content creators fell in line and they were like, Oh, yep, that's now it. Look at this. <laughs> 21. Wow, trip out. What's up, dude? Thank you for that. Thank you for that, dude. Now I'm gonna try and focus on what this man is saying, regardless of the parrot. And I know I'm not salty Mike reacting. Uh you know, so I'm not gonna be as good. Xeno threat was awesome. And that was some of the best fun I've had, as well as the beginning of Nine Tails Blockade. 
I was playing with friends. I was having a great time. And as the year went on, I it got think, less Lou. exciting. What's up, dude? And there What's were up, more Lou? promises made that weren't kept, as well as the letter from the chairman or the promise of pyro and server meshing by quarter two next year. It could have been no. earlier. It could have been later. No, it's going to be later. It's going to be later. And, and, and it sucks, but it's going to be later. Or around that time. And I know there will be white knights that will come in and try to shut this down. Go ahead. Like, can we try- stop? Can we stop the polarization? Like, I'm so tired of, like, the white knight naysayer thing. We're people. We can, we can make up our minds. We're fucking rational, you know? We can say white knight and naysayer things. I am so tired of, the, of, of this, like, polarization where you're either one or the other. It is so tiresome. It's so tiresome. Try your best. I love Star Citizen, <laughs> but the more promises they make, the more I feel inclined to not listen or get excited or even just bother with it anyway. So to come to the sad reality of what they this say bird's going will never happen. And it honestly feels like the stuff they say is just to dangle a carrot to get everyone hyped. Like with the Banny Merchman or the 600i rework, the Polaris rework, right? Like, what's <laughs> the deal with that? A hole in his they say, shoulder. you know, they're looking to schedule it, but can't promise anything. That's pretty much what I got out of it, you know. I'm just sick of all these promises that they can't keep. But back to the carrot. It feels like they're putting this carrot in front of us to get us hyped, you know, to get people to buy ships with their um, like fear of missing out. Listen, listen, listen. I don't think I can finish this. Like, I really don't think I can finish this. I mean, like, he's just going through an emotional phase right now. You know, he started talking about how he's going through these phases, and he doesn't even recognize that he, in fact, is, is becoming a meme at this point. And he's going through the phases and he just isn't familiar with this phase yet. Once you have been a backer for as long as we have, most of us here, you will realize the phase that you're going through right now. Okay. It's, it's part of the cycle and you'll be back. You'll be back because the game, here's the promise. Here's what the, here's why the game is bringing in record revenue. Yes. He's, partly correct that they dangle the carrot with the concept ships and the whole thing that's called marketing they need that revenue because they have real people that work there that need paychecks okay it's part of the real world it's called capitalism okay they have to keep selling do i want them to keep selling concept ships no i want them to sell only finished ships okay i'm going to be talking about a lot of that in 2023 but the phase he's going through right now is just frustration this is the frustration phase after the honeymoon phase Right. And we've we've all been through this. We've all been through this. This is a natural filter against people that like to play Fortnite (laughs) and other games like Fortnite. Then they drop off and I'm glad that it's there. Okay, but yes, we do have to worry about development. Yes, we need to make sure that the record breaking revenue that they brought in is being applied correctly and given to people who have the talent who are there. But the promise The only promise that this game gives you, the only promise that Star Citizen ever gives you, is to be the everything game. This is why they're at $500 million directly from backers and gamers that are playing this alpha. This is why they're so successful. The only promise they ever gave you was to be the everything game. And that's a lot. And that's a whole big, one big promise. It's a whole bunch of little promises packed up into a very large promise. The very large promise that Cloud Imperium that Chris is telling you is that this will be the everything game. That is going to give you every style of gameplay. That it's going to give you every type of experience that it can. This is why it has taken this long. People voted it. People voted on every new game mechanic back in the days of stretch goals. Everything was a yes. We want this. Do you want this? Yes. Do you want this? Yes. Do you want this? Yes. And then Chris really got to the heart of the matter of it all and said, wait, people want an everything game. <laughs> and uh, there you go. So there you go. There you go. I'm done. I done. I, and I can't. I hope he's okay. Like the parrot. I'm, I'm getting concerned. Lawless here. Dude, dude. Okay, I'm not being rude. I'm going to like the video. And Lawless, I, I don't know. Have we ever watched anything else from Lawless Baron? Let's go to his channel real quick here. Um, 
and he's almost got 10,000 subscribers. Uh, he's doing deep dives, buyer guides, and ship content. That's interesting. And, uh, you know, hey, he's got decent thumbnails. He's, he's putting out regular content. He's got good views. Good for him. He's doing his thing, and good for him. I just couldn't watch that particular video. That particular video tilted me a little bit. And I, and I blame your bird. I blame the parrot. I blame the parrot.